Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is my December favorites. I have some hair care products, I have some makeup products. All makeup products will be swatched as always. And um, just some random things that I've just been loving. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first products I'm going to talk to you guys about are the Lucetta Argan Oil and Argan Oil. Argan oil and argan oil? Argan oil conditioner and shampoo. I have been using this like nonstop. I wash my hair about, you know, every four days. So whenever I do shampoo my hair, it's so shiny and so soft the next few days after. Um, I really, really love it because my hair gets kind of frizzy. And my hair used to dry complete, completely straight, shiny, and beautiful. And then I kept coloring it because I have issues. And um, like I, I lifted the color a bit, so it kind of degraded the integrity of my hair. So it's really added a lot of shine and smoothness, smoothness to my hair, which I've been lacking lately because, like I said, I just lightened my hair. Um, what do you guys think about my new lighter hair? I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. It's still copper, but uh, it looks lighter to me. What do you guys think? Um, but yeah, I love the shampoo and conditioner. It makes me feel so soft and moisturized. Now, along with the shampoo and conditioner, I, of course, included in the Lucetta hair mask as well. It says to leave it in for five minutes, but I leave it in for a little bit longer because my hair needs it. So what I'll do is I'll shampoo and condition my hair per usual, and then I'll leave the mask in for about 30 minutes. So I'll just put my hair up in a big top knot on top of my head with the conditioner in it, and I'll just do my like you know my household chores like do my dishes and all that jazz if I'm not going anywhere I'll just keep it in there for as long as possible and I found that that really helped my hair um, feel a lot more soft and moisturized my hair has been so dry and thirsty lately it's not even funny so that helps and then to top it off I'll use the Lucetta argan oil so I'll either use this in towel dried hair or I'll put it in when it's dry when it's feeling really frizzy if you have fine hair you have to be sure that you use this with caution you don't want to use too much because it'll make you feel heavy a little bit goes a long way you don't even need a full pump therefore it'll last you for a really long time so um, I really love that plus it has a glass bottle which I think is classy. The next hair product I want to bring to light is the Fiber Blast by Up next I have another hair product. This is more of a styling product rather than a hair care product. This is Fiber Blast by Colorproof and I love anything colorproof. We carry this at my salon and I I'm obsessed with the line, but this one in particular, this is my top seller at the salon because, um, so what it does is it can really kind of mold your hair into anything that you want it to be. Um, I love it because it's a lightweight fiber paste. Let me just show you a little something, something. I hope it shows up on the screen. Can you guys see how cool that is? And, um, so like I said, as you can see, it's really lightweight. It's literally like flying away from me right now. Can you see that? So, let me just do it really fast. Like, look at it! All these little fibers flying around everywhere. It's crazy. But, but anyways, you don't have to do that. I just wanted to show you because it really distracts me every time I use it because I do that and you're not supposed to. But, um, you just put a little on your fingers and scrunch it into your hair and you can get kind of that beachy wave. You can get it as messy as you want. If you want that messy and tousled look, you can literally just grab a curl, grab it by the bottom, push it upwards. And it will stay wherever you put it. Like, this stuff is amazing. Obviously, you don't want to wear it like that, but um, wherever you place your hair, it will stay. So I really have been enjoying this product. It's one of my top sellers at the salon because it's one of my favorites. So if you're going for that kind of messy, tousled look, or if you want those big, voluptuous curls, mm, this stuff is amazing. All right, now I'm going to move on to the more makeup side of things. Um, this isn't makeup, as you can see, but this is my brush cleaner that I've been using for about, I want to say, five years. This is the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. I swear by this stuff. And basically what I will do is I put them in little tiny spray bottles and I carry them around with me on jobs, like if I'm doing a freelance makeup job or something like that. And I'll just spray paper towel, run my, run my brush along it, and it disinfects it and cleans it. So it's a really, it just sucks the makeup out of the brush. I don't know what's in the formula but it just it's the brush brush it's the best brush cleaner that I've ever used ever up next I'm going to talk about the Zueva palettes this is my first run in with this company and I love the Zueva Zueva um, eyeshadow palette so this is the eyeshadow palette in mixed metals and it is clearly all metallics except for one matte black shade down here. And I just really love the colors that it incorporated. I ordered this palette because I don't have any of these colors in my collection, so I thought it was really unique. So if you've got a bit of a makeup collection, this has some really unique colors in it that you might not have. So um, I got the Mixed Metals, and I also got the Naturally Yours palette. I just figured this would be a nice one to carry around with me if I'm traveling and I just need, you know, 
the basics. So it has some mattes, it has some metallics, it has some satin finishes. So it just has everything that you need. I really like these palettes because they're really highly pigmented and um, they just do it for me. So I will be having a full review coming out for you guys in just a little bit here on these Aueva palettes. Everything will be swatched, everything will be broken down for you so you can see what I think about them. And then for concealer, I've been loving the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I've been just obsessing over it lately. I got the one in porcelain, which is the lightest shade I have underneath my eyes today. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but I'm just so stinking pale that I can't do anything about it. It's horrible. So um, it does blend out really nicely. It's really comparable to high-end concealers. I mean, it's not a high-end concealer. You can definitely tell that, but... For a drugstore concealer, it's awesome. It really has great coverage. It blends out nicely. It doesn't blend out cakey and chalky. So um, I recommend this if you're looking for like a, a brightener for underneath your eyes. I really like, um, I have porcelain. And then what's the other one I have? So the two shades that I have is light ivory and porcelain. Porcelain is the lightest shade that you can get because I'm so butt white. I just needed a nice highlight color, color underneath my eyes. It's still almost a little bit too dark for me. I mean, as a highlighter, I wish it was a little bit brighter, but... What can you do? You're at the lightest shade in the whole entire thing, so maybe I should go tanning or something. I don't know. Um, and then the other color is light ivory. It has a pink undertone to it, so it's great for covering up dark circles, but it's still bright. So if you have a normal skin tone, this would be a great under eye brightener for you. So um, I, I plan on using this one every day because, it, like I said, it covers up my dark circles like magic. And this one's great for brightening. So I love these two little guys. I kind of mix them together and create the perfect concealer with them. I also wanted to throw this little guy in here. This is the Sigma F57 Emphasize Contour Brush. It literally is the coolest contour brush I've ever used. So it fits right up in here and you can drag it wherever you want your contour. It really does fit perfectly on the face. So you can bring it horizontal like this or you can bring it vertical depending on what kind of contour you like. I like to start off with being vertical so you can really get that color on there. And then I blend it upwards with a, um, a vertical stance. I don't know. Um, but honestly, this is the coolest contour brush that I own. I just wanted to throw this in here. I have a full contour routine slash review on this contour brush and a few others by Sigma coming up soon. So definitely check that out. And one more product by Sigma that I wanted to mention is the Sigma in the Saddle Aura Powder. And it's just a really pretty, it's a little bit warm tone, but not to the point where it's orange. So I love to just kind of warm up my face. It's kind of my transition color when it comes to contouring. So I'll use this as my transition color and use a really nice big fluffy brush to kind of warm up my face. And then I use a cooler tone to contour with. So um, this is really great if you're looking to just warm up your face though and do a natural contour. I just think it's so pretty and it's really, really velvety. Like it's so soft and it's finely milled and I love it. Another thing that I've been loving actually is the Nail Her Nails. As you can see, I'm wearing them today. I have a tutorial going up. It might either be up already or it will be up. Um, the link will be right here. So once it's up, you can click on this little picture right here and that will lead you to the tutorial. But yeah, I think they're so fun. I've always wanted stiletto nails, but I don't want to have to get them done all the time at the salon. So I just think that these are so fun. They're press-on nails. So if you've not heard of them, um, check them out. I'll be going in more depth into the tutorial that I'll be posting for you guys, but I just wanted to mention them because I think that they're so much fun. These are the um, Naturally in the Cool Stiletto Style Nails, and I think they're so pretty! This next one is skincare related. I've been using the Rodan and Fields Refine Regimen for appearance of lines, pores, and loss of firmness. I'm right at that age right now where I'm losing my firm, guys. It's really freaking me out. So um, I've been just really loving this. I'm still in the first couple weeks of my, you know, my regimen. So I have seen changes in my skin. I'm going to make a full video towards a review on this. But basically what the um, regimen comes with is a PM and AM face cream. It comes with... Uh, pore minimizing toner and it also comes with a face wash as well so um, yeah I just have been loving it so far I've seen some changes already so that just goes to show that it's working but I want to use it for the full 60 days before I make my full review on it so if you want to see that review let me know in the comments below but um, yeah so I'm really excited to try this out and give it a go so those are just some random products that I've been loving for the month of November. Just a bunch of random different things I couldn't pick. So, um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.